Good day, my name is Jan, and I welcome you to our second talk as we ask the question, how do I step into the new? December is a month of celebration. It is a Christ festival. We celebrate God's love initiative. And in 1 Corinthians 1 verse 30, God says He has united us with Christ. And out of that unity, He releases His wisdom. He becomes our wisdom. And it is the wisdom that we need for the next season that brings me to the story that I want to tell you now. We were four boys and one daughter in our house. And very often the children would run into the house and my mother would chase us out and tell us to go and stop at the threshold of the door on the doormat and to clean our feet before we come back into her house. Now, obviously, for practical reasons, we understand that. But I believe that December also has a threshold opportunity for your whole being. It literally means before you run into the next room of whatever is new in your new season or your life, before you do that, you need to pause, you need to stop, and you need to make sure that you do not take some of the unwanted elements of where you are coming from, take that into the new season. So I call it a threshold moment, standing in a door and stopping before I continue. Well, let me take you to one of the other passions of my life, and that obviously is music. Music is the combination of short and long notes, moments of rest. You know, if you just have one, just one sound continuing for four and a half minutes, then you don't have a song, you don't have music, you just have noise. And very often that's how our lives end up being. It's just one constant engagement. It is the moments where we breathe, the moments where we stop, that releases the music of our lives. The Bible calls this the Sabbath principle. It means that we have a time where we stop every day, basically, literally falling asleep and coming to a point of rest every day. The Bible teaches us that out of every seven days, it will be healthy for us to apply the Sabbath principle. The Sabbath is not a law that has these strict rules that we have to adhere to. It's the principle of having a threshold moment every seven days. Obviously, that's a little bit longer than the threshold moment of a 24-hour cycle. I apply the same principle to every month and to every season. So my question to you then is, do you understand that reflection is a life-saving habit? Do you understand that stopping for a moment every day, stopping for a little longer every week, and in December at the end of a year, really taking a good pause, reflecting on where do I come from, what has happened, and where am I going? Those are life-saving questions that could help you to go into your future with wonderful purpose. We'll talk much about going into the future in the next couple of days. But for today, I want to take you to Matthew chapter 6, verse 6, where Jesus talks about prayer as one of the activities that puts me on a doormat and that brings me to a moment of pausing and reflecting. He says, when you pray, go into your room, close the door, Pray to your father who is unseen. And then your father who sees what is done in the secret, in that moment of pause, that moment of reflection, that moment of unveiling what is in my heart. That promise then is that he will reward you in the next season. So I want to take a moment now and ask you to pause and to pray with me and allow God to get you to a point of rest, a point of just getting rid of what has happened in the last season and ask him to guide you into 
the new room of your life. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, the month of December is such an important month for every one of us. It's a fantastic time to pause, to reflect, to rest. And I want to pray today, Lord, that every person who listens to this talk would experience how you bring their heart to this moment of just standing still and allowing God to speak to me about where I come from and where I am going. May this become a habit every day, every month, every season, every year, where the quality of our future is determined by these threshold moments. Thank you, Lord, that we can discover you and your voice and your guidance when we often just stand still for a moment. Thank you for your goodness, Lord Jesus. Amen.